And welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Tonight on the Factor Uncensored, we go in deep. There is a new trend that's penetrating America that's allowing some to go from suspect sauerkraut to fancy filet, of course, mignon. Tonight, we bring you Coochie Couture. There is no man in the world that I know or me who would say, let me see if she has Gucci, Louis Vuitton, or Coach Vagina. We just want it <laughs> healthy and clean. So who is wanting a designer vagina? So I think it's important for us to understand the difference between a vagina and a labia. So there's this buzzword of designer vaginas, but really what the article was referring to is labiaplasties. So labia is the external genitalia. So it's as in layman's terms, it's the lips, right? Got so it. for doing a cosmetic procedure for the labia or the lips is purely aesthetic or cosmetic in purpose. It makes them look neater. It makes them look less floppy. It makes them less bulky. So when the article referred to wearing these tight leggings and having a designer, designer vagina, really, <laughs> really what they're talking about. Almost. It's a tongue, it's, it is a tongue twister. <laughs> What they're really referring to is labia. And so they lump labia and vagina into the same, you know, kind of category, but they're very different. So the vagina is the birth canal or the sex canal. It's the, the tube that connects the introitus or the entrance of the vaginal wall to the uterus. And that is where babies pass through when they're born. It's also where sexual intercourse takes place. Got so there's a, they can be a, vaginal plasty, vaginal reconstruction, a vaginal tightening. And that is something that you will feel, but you won't necessarily see. Got it. So a, a labiaplasty is a cosmetic procedure to tighten the lips or the external genitalia, what you will visibly see. So I think it's important to understand the difference. Two and different things that we're talking two, about. Two totally, two totally different things. And so, yes, the number of labiaplasties has skyrocketed through the years. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a couple of factors for that. One thing is Brazilian bikini waxes have become standard. It becomes the norm. We have young girls in their 20s and women into their 60s and beyond that are having wax procedures where all of the hair is being removed. Mm -hmm. So then you see it's the more, labia. More is exposed. <laughs> more is exposed. You know, back in the 70s, you know, bushiness was in. You know, we were a little bit less concerned about manicuring the lawn. But at this point in time, clean and neat and manicured lawns are in. Yeah. So then you see the labia. Also, as that article mentioned, tighter athletic wear, tighter leggings have made that area more potentially visible through clothing. So a labiaplasty has become more trendy for women who want to improve the appearance because they're seeing it now um, or they're seeing it through their clothing. So when people say, okay, she's got a camel toe right there, would that <laughs> make a difference in it? So with a camel toe, and there's a couple of camel toe issues. One, it could be that your clothing, that your clothing is just, you know, you know, what's the what's the nature of the camel toe? Is it just because your clothing is too tight and it's you're yanking it up and it's creating mm -hmm. that little lift, or is it that you have too much tissue? So it can be maybe your clothes are just too tight, or maybe you have more tissue than you would like, and a labiaplasty a designer labia, designer lips could give you a trimmer appearance, a sleeker appearance that will be visible through clothing and also when you're naked or having sexual intercourse. So and, there's a couple of different factors. And who's more a likely candidate for this? Uh, would you say those who've had many children or is it just whoever wants it? So I have a, a wide range of patients that are coming to see me. So sometimes I'll have a younger patient, she may be in her teens, or her early 20s, and some can be a result of genetics. Maybe one side was more developed than the other. Maybe they're having, um, the patient is having more discomfort when they ride horses, or they are um, embarrassed because they're a swimmer or a gymnast, and it shows through those clothing. So mm -hmm. I can have younger patients that have not yet had children, 
But then I also have patients up to 60s and beyond that have had children that have extra tissue and they're looking for a refresh or a tightening of that area as well. So wide range of patients that are coming into my practice. All right, Dr. Camille Cash mm -hmm. from New York. Thank you for joining us and breaking it down, making it simple for us. So hopefully that clears up kind of the design of vagina, labiaplasties, but, uh, but yes, it's a, it's a great subject because it is something that I'm seeing a lot in my practice. Now, while Dr. Cash was in New York tonight, she is based right here in Houston. So if you want to see her, look her up.